We're at the South Carolina Welcome Center right now. I just stopped to do my do my load check. Hey, I wanted to show y'all something, man. It's a, it was a guy in the comments, can't remember your name, but you had, I seen the comment where you said, you know, about the other side getting loose, the winch side, well, he said the winch side gets tight, but the other side uh, uh, will be loose. This one's going over the top. But um, yeah, I'm not one of those guys. I'm not one of those guys that uh, that argue that argues with people because I can accept advice. So I'm not arguing with you, but I just wanted to show you this because you're right. The uh, the other side where the winch is at, where the winch is not at, it does it does get loose and it won't stay tight. But I want to show you something. I'm not arguing with you, dog, because I hey. Cause you're right. So this is the winch side. It's a this one's on the winch is on that side on this one. But this one is over the top. That one's tight. This one's wrapped around. That was it ain't as tight as that, but it got a little shake to it. But uh so let me show you the other side. Tight. 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 Let me show you this side. Cause this is the side that, that won't get as tight as the other side. But let me show you. Let me show you. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, look pretty tight to you. <laughs> look pretty tight, don't it? This, the winch is on this side. We ain't gonna test that one. Tight, 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 tight. Over the top, That's that don't count. But yeah, you're right. This side does get, it won't get as tight as the other side. But let me tell you something. When you got a motherfucker putting them big guns like that, hey, I crank that motherfucker down. I put my whole body weight onto it. <laughs> That's how you get the motherfuckers tight. You got a damn, you got a body weight that thing, man. I'll show y'all real quick. They are pretty tight, but we're gonna do, we're gonna tighten one of them up just for fun. Show y'all how I do it. You gotta put your back into it. And yes, I do have Crocs on. You gotta put your whole body on. It's already tight, so we can't we can't go too much tighter. But, when, but Whenever I tighten these up, I drop, I drop low. Woo. That motherfucker ain't going nowhere. You see how low I got? Hey man, I'm 260 pounds. Hey, I'm a lot bigger than the average guy. Some guys be like 150, 170. They got to jump on the bar. I've seen guys jump in the air and push down on the bar. But me, I just, I take that motherfucker low. That's how I get them so tight with hardly any effort because I use my body weight. All right, we got uh, 100, 134 miles. Let's ride. Back on South Carolina 9. Same place we was at last week. Arrive at 4374 Lancaster Highway, Richburg. Some different side. Last week we was up there at Chester. On the right. That Kenworth, they got that uh that was beside me yesterday. I just seen him coming out. He beat me here. Maybe because I went home last night. Stayed in the sleep 11 hours. By the time I got back in the truck, it was up to like 10.45. It's all good. Hey, we still gonna get the load here. I took it to the house. First time coming here, hope they ain't got a lot of trucks in front of me. Cause when I Googled this place, they only had one star. And I seen one of the reviews, somebody was saying, somebody was talking about the wait time. 
Hopefully we ain't got that problem. It's one quarter mile. Arrive at 4374 Lancaster Highway. There we go. South Carolina, 297. Hey man, shout out all the South Carolina people, man, that watch me on YouTube. I be coming through y'all hometowns. Y'all see me recording in y'all hometowns, man. Hey, 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 man. I don't want to catch an ass whooping if y'all ever see me. Y'all heard that seatbelt sensor? It does that. Sometimes it'll work good, sometimes it'll mess up. Truck drivers do not take straps off till you get down the road. Why do they make scales so small? We barely have room to play with. Widen the things up. Anybody ever pop the tire on a scale? Waiting on the green light. Like Go down the street to that old Exxon, spend the night. Hey, let me show y'all something. You see that seat belt sensor? Watch this. Seat belt. Look at this. Seat belt. Seatbelt. 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 <laughs> hey, yes, I know that check engine light is on. It's been on for a while. 
it's something something I forgot what they told me was triggering it but it's like uh it was like something that was not not a big deal but you know get it fixed later on take like a three or four hour fix something to do with the idle I think that's what the man said because my truck will idle a lot of PNS trucks don't idle but mine's will idle because the idle sensor is cut off but uh yeah man that seatbelt sensor that thing would drive you crazy it doesn't always do it sometimes it'll cut off and then sometimes it'll I don't know what it is you hang your seatbelt on but the motherfucker get especially when I be on the phone ding 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 like damn shut up I got a seatbelt on shut up <laughs> <laughs> hey if I could fix anything in this truck it would be that seatbelt sensor I haven't been to a place like this in a while. Last time I, last time I went somewhere where they had to take my keys was at the uh, Georgia Pacific in Dudley, North Carolina. But that was like three years ago. They don't do it no more, but they used to. But my man took my keys and, and locked them up somewhere. Safety first. Seatbelt is on. Y'all hear it? I just got a reload. It didn't take too long. Uh, took about 10 minutes to get unloaded. I'm picking up in Alkalu. Alkalu, South Carolina, Georgia Pacific. I didn't really look at the load information, but I see it had torque pay. So that tells me. Gotta talk to down low. The preloader must be on vacation. I tell you, man, that guy, that preloader. Hey, if you work, for, if y'all work for PNS, and y'all go to Alkalu a lot, y'all know that preloader. He takes a lot of vacations. Look at that TMC back there. Money crew, wrong side, right there. Money crew. Shout out TMC, the money crew. Yeah, man, if y'all go to Alkalu and you work for PNS. That damn preloader, he always on vacation. Either he on vacation, or he went to lunch and didn't didn't write down the right trailer number or something. I don't know if I gotta go check out or what. He gave me the thumbs up. Let's get on down to Alkalu. Y'all see how wide this how wide this road is. This is the size of a road that they need in Cofield on River Road. It should be as wide as this. This one guy was telling me on Facebook, he was like, I never had a problem with that road. No, he said it never it never been an issue, or whatever. And I told him, I said, nothing's ever an issue until something happens. That's when it becomes an issue. Alkalu, South Carolina, Georgia Pacific. For those of y'all that don't know where I'm at, this is Georgia Pacific, the promised land for PNS drivers. We can always get a we can always get a load out of here, always. And for me, they usually have something going up the. Uh, up 95 back to Richmond or somewhere this load is going to Butner North Carolina to a blue links 
I believe that's the name of that place I delivered to in Richmond on Monday. That place might have been called Blue Links as well. Hey, I want y'all to pay attention to this scale. I got a little bit less than a half a tank of fuel. I'm going to take a guess before I go across this scale. I don't know if y'all can see it. Before I get all the way to the front, my empty weight, I'm going to say 29, 29, 860. Let's roll with that. 29, no, 29, 960. Damn it. I said 29,860 is 29,640. I was close. <laughs> Y'all see this rain on my hood, on my windshield too. Sometimes you can get away without talking when you come to this place. But on a day like today, you're gonna have to talk. No, my man getting a preload. The other PNS driver. Damn it. See, they got three right there. We just passed one. And I gotta get a live load. Sucks to be me. Sucks to be me.
Hey, tell me this. When's the last time y'all saw me talk a load? When's the last time? I bet you can't tell me. The last few times I rode with a tarp on, it's been the load has been pre-tarped. That's the first time I talked the load in I don't know how long. Hey, before I forget about it, I want to give a shout out to my dog Chris, 806 driver. Cause Chris remembers back in the day when I used to always talk. When I used to call myself the master topper. Today y'all witnessed the master topper. I ain't do too much talking while I was doing it. I just I just recorded it. Shout out my dog Mark Woodruff over there at Boyd Brothers. Shout out my dog Chris Foreman. Shout out my dog Ghost Dog. Securement specialist on Instagram. I gotta get his link for Instagram. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get his link and I'm gonna put it in the first comment. Ghost dog. Pretty big on Instagram. That's my dog. I gotta go up here and sign this uh sign this damn scale ticket, then I can hit the road. This load is headed to Butner, North Carolina. It's close to Durham. I think I've been to the place before. When I put the address in, the address looked familiar. So I think I've been there before. Either way, it's only like an hour and a half from the house. And I got to pass the house to get there. So what y'all? What should I do? Should I take a 10 hour break at the truck stop? Or should I take it at the house? Oh, I guess my weight is good. 73, four, no, 73, come on, stabilize. 73 700 now it says 680 now it says 700 I'll tell y'all what this cold weather is starting to come south I've been up in the north the past past few weeks I haven't been to South Carolina in a while I haven't been to South Carolina well I, I came to Chester last week to get that load of uh, LVL. Shout out that guy that commented, told me what LVL was. Laminated veneer something. And when you, you told me in the comments, and when I dropped it off, I looked at it, I seen it say LVL. Veneer, veneer something. But yeah, I see this cold weather starting to come south. Won't be long for it's cold everywhere. My, uh, my thermometer right now says 38. Big snow. Because I got a white truck. My little GMC at back home, I call, I call it Little Snow. I changed the name on the Bluetooth. It's Little Snow. This truck is called Big Snow. Won't be long before we start seeing snow. Won't be long. What's today's date? 21st? Isn't tomorrow the first day of winter? Is that the 22nd? I, I'm not sure. Either way, I know it's coming. I can feel it in my bones. Flatbed gang. I'm out, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video.